Hi, I'm Rich Bowen. I'm Shane Kirkrew. We are, at the moment of this recording, we're both members of the Board of Directors of the Apache Software Foundation. Now, people that have been involved in open source, even folks that have been around open source for a long time, tend to look at Apache as having all of this structure and it's not well understood why we have all this structure. And there's a number of reasons for that, and we'll get into that in some of these later videos. But a question that comes up uh, quite frequently is, what does the board of directors of the Apache Software Foundation actually do? So there are nine of us, and our responsibility is to govern the operations of the, of the foundation. Now this doesn't mean getting involved in the individual software projects. Software projects themselves are self-regulating, self-governing. Mm -hmm. They set their own direction and the board does not tinker in those decisions. But what we're responsible for is the legal entity of the foundation. This includes everything from finances to legal affairs to marketing, but once again, doesn't touch the technical decisions of the individual projects. The Board of Directors meets once a month, and at those meetings, we are presented with reports from the individual projects. Now, that may seem to fly in the face of what I just said, but these reports are not, generally speaking, about individual technical decisions that are being made, but rather about how the projects are running in ways that are sustaining. Sustainability of our projects is a primary goal of the foundation. So I, I think I can help explain one of the things there is when we say <coughs> projects, um, often I think people are thinking about, oh, you know, I've downloaded Lucene and this software does great stuff. Uh, how do I configure X? That's the product. That's the software product that you're using, which is the reason Apache's here is to make software that's useful. That's what we do. But from our perspective, a project is the community around that software and the process by which that community is making improvements is hopefully getting together to have a roadmap for a great new version. Uh, so Apache's strength is helping to find, helping to mentor communities to be self-governing and to be uh, open to new contributors over the long haul, even when you know perhaps companies may go in some place that's a different direction, or the technology may be more or less uh, important in daily day day to day life, we try to help the communities continue developing the software or at least maintaining it. Um, so that's the side that the board is looking at in the reports. Really, is is the the community managing themselves as a whole project, as a whole uh, you know sort of you could say a division of a, a software corporation. You know, this division makes uh, this software um, that they sell. Are they doing a good job of, you know, addressing bugs and coming up with new features and, um, you know, making sure the documentation is working for the new release? Things like that. So, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> so our, our monthly board meetings have, uh, broadly speaking, two parts. In the first part of the meeting, we look at reports from the various officers of the foundation, and these are things such as security, legal, marketing, events, uh, brand, brand management. <laughs> and, and these are about how the, the foundation as a legal entity is operating. In the second half of the meeting, as I mentioned, we look at these project reports. We have at the moment around 200 top level projects and they report quarterly so as you have already figured out that means that we have to read 50 to 60 reports yeah. each month and these reports range from a few lines to many pages depending on what's been going on in the project when you read a project report what are the top things that you're looking for about the health of this project yeah, so as a, as a director, I'm looking, is, is the community operating well? Are they welcoming new contributors? Because that's the way to keep your project going. Um, have they, you know, if, if they're an active project who's creating new, new development, have they, is, does the report describe in, in a little bit of, deep, not detail, but a, a high level, you know, what kinds of things are they doing? Is it 
um, new features? Is it cleaning up old bugs? Just to get a sense of it. And quite frankly, for me, one of the things that I look at is if they talk about events that they're working at or um, talks that they've given, are they talking about them from the community perspective? Or are they talking about them, as sometimes happens, from their corporate perspective? So many of our committers on projects are also employees of big software companies that, of course, use the software, and that's great. But sometimes they get very excited with their team at their company, and you know they have an event that their company runs about the Apache project, and which is great. Which is which is great when that happens. But we want to make sure that that attendees understand it's it's an Apache project that a bunch of different people work on. So one of the things that I look for is how the project is um, sort of branding themselves and expressing that in their reports. One of the top things that I look for is, uh, as Shane mentioned, that the project is welcoming new contributors. Um, some projects have a very high barrier to entry for new mm. contributors, and we as the board encourage them to lower that bar to entry. Um, I've, I've been known to say that we should uh, hand out computer bits like candy. Yeah. Um, we have revision control so that if people make mistakes, you can revert that and welcoming a new contributor too early, your risk there is that they'll make a mistake. Welcoming them too late, your risk is that they'll go away and never come back, which to me is a much larger risk. So we, we continually encourage projects to welcome new members, and when a project has not had any new contributors added, any new committers added, within a year or so, we start asking yeah. why. We start asking, whether there's simply nobody out there or if they're being too stringent in their requirements. That's actually one of the things from, from reports. There's uh, project reports, usually, usually there's not a standard form, but we do sort of ask, you know, please cover these areas. They often describe a little bit of what's happening. They have a section that's issues for the board, which I think is an important one to mention. Mm -hmm. So if a project has a question for the board, if they've had an issue or if they have, you know, we want to do X, is that okay at Apache? Uh, in terms of a legal or branding perspective. Um, and there's also a section in reports where they can say when was the last release of their software and when have they added contributors or PMC members. So that shows is their velocity of the project, is the project still making releases for fixes because that's important for users. The PMC is the Project <coughs> Management Committee Sorry. and this is a group of individuals that that vote on releases and make other top-level decisions about the project. In some projects, this is exactly the same group as the committers. In other projects, those two things are made separate, just depending on the preferences of the individual project community. And I think sometimes depending on the scope of the project. So some projects are, it's a pretty obvious thing you're working on. Everybody's code would, would interact with each other. So there they probably would be the same, the committers and PMC. Like the direction of the project is the direction of everybody's code. And some projects are uh, larger or there are systems that plug in together. And there often it's, you know, you'll make somebody a committer in some of the plugins or some of the specific areas. So they, they can control their module, but don't yet um, have a say on the project direction when you release and on whether or not you, you add new committers for the whole project. So that's the other thing that a project management committee does is vote on new committers to be uh, invited in. If you're a member of the Apache Software Foundation, you can attend our board meetings, and we encourage you to do so. Information about upcoming board meetings is always posted to the members list about a week before the meeting, including uh, it, it's actually a phone and IRC meeting, and that information is provided to members. If you're not a member of the foundation, you can read the minutes of past meetings on our website. And thanks for your support. Thanks for listening.